hello guys uh, in this video we'll be talking about a um, four input XOR logic gate uh, that means we will have a um, basically four input inputs coming in to the XOR logic gate so it will be input one input two input three input four uh, without that exclusive symbol We'll be having an OR gate, but that's exclusively OR gate with four input one, two, three, four, and that's your output. You can call it an output five, or you can name it anything you want to. So, hang around, guys. Um, this video will explain the truth table for this um, basically logic symbol, which is this one, and the uh, Boolean expression. Alrighty, now we're talking about the four inputs XOR gate. Uh, that means we have four inputs coming into the XOR gate. So we have a more than three. We talked about two inputs uh, XOR gate. We um, in a previous uh, uh, a previous just above right here we talked about three inputs XOR gate. Now we'll be talking about four input XOR gate. So if it basically we'll have four, uh, four inputs coming into the XOR gate and the output will be uh, determined by the uh, states of these four inputs. Now the logic symbol for that, logic symbol for this one is the uh, same thing but using four, four inputs. So let's draw it. Okay, it looks like you know, fine right now. Okay, let's make it smooth. All right, let me erase that. All righty, bravo. Now we got a one input, two input, three input and four input so that will be x or gate so input a input b input c and input d the output here will be going as a out we call it output y for example here okay i did it right there okay so that's your logic symbol for the x or four inputs now the boolean expression for that uh, logic gate will be a exclusively or with b exclusively or with c exclusively or with d come on okay and that will be equal to output y so that's your boolean expression for that four inputs xor logic gate okay so we talked earlier about possibilities of uh, the truth table since we have four inputs the possibility will be 16 different mm, outputs uh, possible uh, with we have four four it will be 16 lines we will have 16 uh, possibilities to get an output from okay let's draw a truth table okay so this is a, a logic sorry this is a truth table for four input four input x or gate x or logic gate the the main idea or the main conclusion here is it, the output will the y output y will be only on if we have odd numbers of inputs um, okay so let's start it since we have 16 possibilities I might have to extend that line but let's see let's start from here if all the inputs are low a is low b is low c is low and d is low the output y will be low if input a is high and all the other inputs are low so the output will be high because we have odd numbers of output input high now if input a is low and input b is high and input C is low, input D is low, 
the output y will be high now if we have a input a high and input b high uh, out input c low and input d low the output will be zero now we have uh, even numbers of uh, output input high now the fifth condition here will be if input a is low input b is low and input c is high and input d is low the output y will be high because we got an uh, odd number of input now if input a is high input b is low and input c is high and input c is low the output will be zero or low now uh, moving on if input a is low and input b is high and input input c is high the output uh, and input c is uh, i'm sorry input d is low the output will be low okay now if input a is high and input b is high and input c is high the output will be high remember this thing this will this should uh, up to this part will be the three input gates with three input gate three input xor gate we only had four possibilities here and that was right there if you see that right there uh, from zero to number seven which is this this is uh, seven here we have only four possibilities for the xor gate to be high so that just repeats itself right here okay now moving on if input a is low input b is low input c is low but input d is high the output y will be high if input a is a high input b is low and input c is low and input d is high the output will be low if input a is low input b is high and input c is low and input b d is high the output will be low now moving around if input a is high input b is high and input c is low and input d is high the output will be high because we have a odd number of input that are high okay let's extend this line as i said it will take a take of time to solve this hopefully this will be enough okay so <clears throat> now if input um, a is low input b is low but input c is high and input d is high we get input output y low input a if input a is high input b is low and input c is high and input d is high our input output will be high if input a is low input b is high input c is high input d is high and the output will be low i'm oh, sorry the output will be high because we have odd numbers of inputs are high finally if it all the inputs are high input a is high input b is high input c is high and also input d is high the output will be low okay so this number this is a, this is representing from 0 to 16 binary number if you remember binary number that's how i memorize these thing and that's how you should uh, if you are dealing with electronics or digital electronic system or if you're going to the engineering school you should at least remember to the 16 uh, binary numbers so that's one that's two three four five six seven got eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen we start from zero so it'll be zero to fifteen sixteen possibilities we have out of 16 we got one high two high three high four high five and output high six seven eight so we still have 50 50 chance for x or gate to, uh, in order to have output high all right so the summary in summary we will have the x or for the x or gate 
the large uh, the output will be only high if you have odd numbers of inputs high odd number odd number odd number odd number anywhere you see odd numbers in uh, xor gate the output will be high hopefully it wasn't that rough um, i will see you guys with with the um, the exclusively nor gate next time so please stick around and if you have problem with the xor gate uh, i would recommend to go back and watch that or gates video for the next the next lecture uh, i would recommend to watch the nor gate video that i recently uploaded it will help you a lot uh, until then um, take care guys and please do not forget to subscribe this channel